what do you need to do when you are upgrading your fuel system with your tune mostly it is just the injectors that need to be put into the tune to actually uh, get the car started up with the old map you are already having on the ECU but there are some things that you have to look out for that might not be as straightforward as they appear if you don't feel comfortable doing this yourself I obviously also offer tuning services for a reasonable price just uh, let me know on Instagram uh, the link is in the description below and I will be able to help you out with any tuning, any advice or any questions you have. In my case, I'm upgrading from some 295 stock uh, CC injectors uh, from the stock Toyota 4AG Silvertop to 800cc SARD injectors. These are pretty much um, good for, I'd say, about 400 horsepower uh, at the crank. Um, if you want to calculate how much injector you actually need on a four cylinder you would be able to uh, divide the cc amount by two and you would be able to run approximately that amount of crank horsepower on a six cylinder the amount of cc is kind of equivalent to the amount of uh, horsepower you are going to achieve at the crank although uh, this is kind of at the very high end so for example if you would wa uh, would use a thousand cc injectors uh, on a six cylinder with pump gas uh, you would only be able to achieve like eight to nine hundred horsepower some people say a thousand would be possible in theory but that's really cut it very close and i wouldn't really recommend that especially because you don't want to uh, utilize injectors to a hundred percent and 90 or 85 to 90 percent would be optimal at a maximum in my case i'm using side feed which which don't really differ from any other injectors but there are some on the side feed side that are actually low ohms and if you have those on most modern issues you need to use a resistor in between just make sure that you use the correct one but you could always convert to high ohm injectors which will work with any modern ECU. On the Tuner Studio side, we are going to first look into our general engine settings. Um, we already have the ECU connected, and so we have the tune loaded. And on the engine constants, there is the required fuel button. In our case, there is the 8.5 millisec milliseconds in there. That was calculated from the 295cc injectors. Uh, depending on what you have, this is the base value you are going to go off of if you click on rec fuel you can put on all the specs of your engine and your injectors and that will come up with a base millisecond value uh, that the ecu needs to know for every calculation that is used within the ecu or within your tune this is nothing to do with the duty cycle or pulse width um, it's only basically a measure for the ECU itself to calculate how the VE table or how everything is going to act. When doing that, while you could leave it at the other value, your VE table would be very low or very high, depending on what from what injectors you go to, what injector, what other injector size. Changing this is really important. If you, for example, don't want to retune your VE map, which is possible in some instances, although you need to have all of the injector specs from the old ones put in before, so when you tune the car first on the stock injectors, and you put, need to put in the new specs you have for your new injectors. This means, first of all, the rec fuel needs to be correct, and also, the injector characteristics need to be correct not only for as i said your old injectors which you have tuned on before but they also need to match to the new ones if that is the case and they match then you can actually maybe get away with not retuning your ve table although that is possible i would still recommend to run auto tune when you take the first drive and check if your um, ve table is kind of in the ballpark and let auto tune maybe on hard or very hard difficulty run and adjust 
and then adjust after the manually a bit if necessary but it might be very close if those settings don't match you need to retune your ve table this is important and is a thing that you have to look out for something else that you have to look out for is that you need to also retune your cold start this is necessary and can't be uh, let alone because the priming pools for example is going to open the injectors for a specific amount of time so a specific amount of milliseconds and on a injector that is a lot bigger in that same time frame when they are open there's going to be a lot more fuel coming through that than there was before same goes for all the other constants so for example you're cranking cranking fuel etc for example i was using 170 to 160 percent cranking fuel here at this uh, at this temperature right now and later i didn't do it in this one exactly but later i had to reduce it to about 130 to 140 even which is not which is quite a bit lower and the car started a lot better with the new injectors also my priming pulse is now quite low as you can see it's only at maximum of six milliseconds because six milliseconds on an 800 cc injector or whatever thousand a thousand cc is quite a lot and on a 295 cc it's really not that much so you would need a lot more priming pulse if you want to inject the same amount of fuel going to the startup it the car started up with my ve table but i had to retune the v table which you can see here i'm just doing a small demonstration of what needed to change in the ve table because as i said i did not have the correct dead times for the old injectors and the ones i have now are also kind of only in the ballpark the site that gave me gave them to me uh, didn't really specify that much so i had to kind of guess what is correct so i'm kind of tapping in the dark but it's not that big of a deal you just have to retune your ve table use auto tune or do it manually however you want or do it with logs and you will be good to go but just remember that it's not plug and play and no tuning necessary bigger injectors most of the time require at least some tuning if you have any questions as always let me know and i will answer anything that you ask me in the comments or send me a message on instagram as always i wish you a nice day and goodbye